Google Classroom gives you the ability to create and assign work for your students, all without having to print anything. Questions, essays, worksheets, and readings can all be distributed online and made easily available to your class. Whenever you want to create new assignments, questions, or materials, you'll need to navigate to the Classwork tab. In this tab, you can create assignments and view all current and past assignments. To create an assignment, click the Create button. From the drop-down menu, you have the option to select Assignment, but you can also select Question if you'd like to pose a single question to your students, or Material if you simply want to post a reading, visual, or other supplementary material. In this example, we want to create an assignment. This will bring up the assignment form. Google Classroom offers considerable flexibility and options when creating assignments. Within the assignment form, you can decide to send assignments to all students or a select number. Just click the drop-down arrow here and make your selection. Next, enter the assignment title. If you'd like to include instructions, you can type them here. Here you can decide how many points an assignment is worth by typing the number in the form. You can also click the drop-down arrow to select Ungraded if you don't want to grade an assignment. And you can also select a due date for the assignment. In Google Classroom, you can sort your assignments and materials into topics. This menu allows you to select an existing topic or create a new one to place an assignment under. You can attach files from your computer, files from Google Drive, URLs, and YouTube videos to your assignments. Once you're happy with the assignment you've created, click Assign. The drop-down menu also gives you the option to schedule an assignment if you'd like to post it at a later date. Once you've completed the form and clicked Assign, your students will receive an email notification letting them know about the assignment. Google Classroom takes all of your assignments and automatically adds them to your Google Calendar. From the Classwork tab, you can click the calendar icon to pull this up and get a better overall view of the timeline for your assignment's due dates. When creating an assignment, there may often be times when you want to attach a document from Google Docs. These can be helpful when providing lengthy instructions, study guides, and other materials. When attaching these types of files, you'll want to make sure to choose the correct setting for how your students can interact with it. After attaching one to an assignment, you'll find a drop-down menu with three options. Let's take a look at when you might want to use each of these. Students can view file. Use this option if the file is simply something you want your students to view but not make any changes to. Students can edit file. This option can be helpful if you're providing a document you want your students to collaborate on or fill out collectively. Make a copy for each student. If you're creating a worksheet or document that you want each student to complete individually, this option will create a separate copy of the same document for every student. On the Classwork tab, you can use Topics to sort your group assignments and material. To create a topic, click the Create button. Then select Topic. Topics can be helpful for organizing your content into the various units you teach throughout the year. You could also use it to separate your content by type, splitting it into homework, classwork, readings, and other topic areas. Now you know how to create assignments and materials in Google Classroom. GCF Global. Creating opportunities for a better life.